Okay, let's continue with our next lesson, which is for in part two. We will discuss about force and mass. So, how can force and mass will be related to each other? So, before we can learn what is force and mass, we have to know first what is the International System of Unit or SI Unit System. Well, as I mentioned in the first video, the SI unit is not that difficult because most of you already already learn it in other subjects, such as the basic uh, units is like length. Okay, so what is the basic unit of length? Length. Okay, so usually we refer length is as meter. And what about time? The basic unit or the SI unit for time is second. So what about mass and force? What is the SI unit for weight and force? Okay. So we will explore it later. This one is actually the examples of the unit which is uh, being used a lot okay, for in SI unit system. Okay, as you can see, length, mass, time, temperature and also other unit. But in fluid mechanics, we just use this, uh, the first four unit, sorry, the first three units. Okay. And the next table, which is table 1 to 2, is actually uh, refers to the standard prefix in SI unit system. So what the purpose of the prefix unit system? Okay, The prefix unit system is actually when you have a loss of 0 or, or maybe you have, you know, like uh, you need to multiply with 10 to the power of 4 or 10 to the power of uh, 24, 21, something like this. So instead of uh, putting this uh, 10 to the power of 6 okay you can just simply put the mega or signs like m like this okay as i show you okay i can show you here for example you want to write like uh, 2 times 10 to the power of 9 okay instead of writing this way you can also just write 2 giga okay because you are referring to the this prefix 10 to the power of 9 we label it as giga all right okay so what's the difference between uh, mass and force okay so mass is a property of a body of fluid that is measure of its inertia or resistance to a change in motion well the definition looks very complicated don't worry about that. Okay, I can simplify it. It's just any reading. Okay, when you get, uh, when you weigh something, for example, uh, you weigh yourself on the weighing balance. So the reading shows that fifty-five kg. So your mass is actually fifty-five kg, not weight. Okay, so it's quite uh, contradict because people usually we use the term of weight. Uh, when we refer to the reading on the uh, measuring scales but basically in physics is referred to the mass okay your mass is actually 55 kg okay and it is also measure of the quantity of fit so of course for example okay like um, um, you want to know how much you have to use uh, the water okay instead of using volume we can also just weigh the liquid okay and it's usually symbols as m meanwhile the weight is actually amount that a body weight that is uh, which is it is um, affected by the gravity uh, gravity force okay so for example in case that yeah just now your mass is 55 kg so what is your weight weight as i mentioned here is actually it has the effect uh, towards the gravity force so mg which is m here is the mass which is shown on the measuring scales and g is actually gravity acceleration which is 9.8 or something like that 07 okay 
and its symbols as M. So how they are related to each other? So basically, it is related through this formula. Okay, weight is actually uh, can, in order to get weight, you should know first what is your mass. Okay, you got it. Okay, here is the other uh, some of the SI and English unit which is related to the force and mass. Okay, so we know that one lbm which is in English unit is equals to 0 0.45359 kg and 1 feet is actually equal to 0 0.3048 and as we know that the relation between force and mass is through this formula okay or also can be just simplified like this okay so we can relate directly mass and force so, for example, in SI unit, okay, 1 Newton, or we can also um, level as new 1 Newton is actually kg, which is the unit of mass, times with the S M S 2 is actually the unit for acceleration. So, this term is actually can also uh, known as Newton okay meanwhile for English unit okay the English unit for force okay which is uh, LBF okay and for example 1 LBF is actually 32.174 LBM uh, times FT over S or the power of 2 so this is actually the mass unit okay and this one is actually the unit for acceleration okay here is another example so for example uh, like the mass of a body is 1 kg and it moves with the acceleration of 1 meters per uh, second to power of 2 so what is the force okay so you can just get uh, how much is the force by using this formula similar to the one in English units okay for example the mass of a body is actually 2.174 lbm and it moves with the acceleration equals to uh, 1 feet over second triple of 2 okay and the force is considered as 1 lbf okay by using this the same formula as well okay so we know that formula for the force is actually mass times acceleration and also if it's defined as a weight is actually is also refer is refer as mass times the gravitational acceleration okay just give example okay if you weigh yourself on the earth and on the moon of course your weight will be different okay why because the gravity uh, force on the earth and on the moon is different for example maybe your weight uh, on the earth like 72 kg force okay and on the uh, moon your weight will be like 12 kg force okay and here is the example or sorry or actually the list of the gravity acceleration in different unit so if it's in SI unit the G is actually 9.8 or 7 so if you want to measure the mass you have sorry if you want to measure the weight of a body you have to times the weight uh, sorry the mass of the body for example like 1 kg times with the G which is the value is 9.8 or 7 meanwhile if you want to measure the force in english unit okay for example it is uh, the mass of this body is actually one lbm okay so in english unit okay the g the gravity acceleration the unit is actually in feet over a uh, second triple of, of two where the value is 32.174 so it's quite different compared to a uh, SI unit okay so that's why 
the weight of the body is actually like this okay 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 let's do this example example one okay so for example there is a, a box with a mass of 5 kg is placed on the floor as shown in figure one so determine the force exerted on the floor surface okay so we know that the mass of the box is actually 5 kg and it is placed on the floor like this so how much we want to know how much is the force exerted by the box towards the floor surface okay again we know that in order to find the force you have to use this formula and force is also known as weight in this case where it is extracted by gravity gravity force okay so the mass is actually 5 kg and g is gravity acceleration which is uh, the value is 9.8007 and then you just substitute the value and then lastly you get the answer which is equals to 49.03 very simple isn't it okay let's try this one so what is the actual weight of the cereal on earth okay so through the labeling on the cereal box it shows that the net weight or the man is actually far uh, sorry four five four gram so what is the weight the real weight on the earth for the cereal okay so at first this guy thought that the gram was a unit of uh sorry so he thought that the gram is the unit of mass was it correct yes it is correct okay so in order to calculate the weight is actually through this formula mass times gram sorry mass time g which is gravity force okay gravity acceleration so just substitute into the equation okay so again this formula you have to use the si unit but if it's not in si unit we can convert it okay for example the five for the mass is a 454 which is in the unit of gram so the si unit for the mass is actually kg so you have to convert it so that's why 1 kg equals to uh, 1000 gram so you can cancel the unit here so it's become kg unit and we we times with the g which is gravity acceleration which is 9.800 and this one is just like a virtual unit to change it into newton just one newton is equal equal to 1 kgm over second to the power of 2 so lastly you manage to get the value of the weight which is 4.45 newton that's all see you in the next part